Hi everyone, this is Elisa Kolker, and today I'm just going to give you a quick little lesson on how to use your H2 Blue um, Hydrogen Tester Kit. In case you have it and you haven't used it yet, or maybe you're a little confused, or maybe you just don't want to read the directions, um, I'm going to give you a quick lesson. So anyways, uh, if you have it, you know it comes with this little beaker type thing. And you can see on there it measures in um, milliliters, increments of five. Now the directions want us to put six milliliters of hydrogen enriched water in, in here. So I've made a mark with a Sharpie. It's just a lot easier when you make a mark to read or to see. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some water in there or six milliliters of water. I'm gonna let, let the water run for just a few seconds first. And, okay, let me just let it get, run for another second, and we'll fill this to the six milliliter line, and it's a little above, so I'm gonna pour some out. I mean, that's a little below, but. Okay, okay, that looks about right. Okay, so now what you do is you take your, you take your drops, and you're gonna think of your water as an antioxidant, as we know, hydrogen-rich water is an antioxidant, and you're gonna think of your um, H2 blue reagent as an oxidant, or free radicals in a bottle, right? So we're going to, um, we're gonna put a drop in here and see if it turns white. And that's what we want because it means that the water is neutralizing the free radicals, which we can kind of think of this as free radicals. So one, let's see how many drops we can get before it stops turning white. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's just mix that up a little, make sure. Okay, still turning white, still neutralizing the free radicals. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, let's see if that's going to stay blue or is turned back white. Okay, so basically I put 15 drops in before it stopped turning white. So um, I'm gonna say that my water has 1.4 ppm parts per million of dissolved molecular hydrogen. And this is, um, for any of you who are familiar with ECHO, this is the ECHO 7. The ECHO 9 is the new unit. Uh, that came out and um, supposedly there is a 35% increase in the hydrogen production. So when I get the Echo 9, it'll be interesting to see. But right now I'm getting about 1.4 parts per million of H2 in my water and I'm very happy with that. So I hope uh, this helps anyone who uh, wants to test their water. And also wanna let you know that even if you have an ORP meter and you are um, getting a really high negative number, you know, in the seven, eight hundreds, it doesn't necessarily mean you have an abundance of dissolved molecular hydrogen. That is not an indicator. So the best way to test your water is through these drops and you can get those through um, dynamichydration.com. Um, you can just order them online and they'll be shipped to your house. Anyways, hope you guys uh, are having a great day and that's it for now. Talk to you later.